In this video, let us look into solving simultaneous linear equations by the method of substitution. In the previous videos, we did solve simultaneous linear equations by graphical method. In this video, it will be algebraic method. Uh, and algebraic methods, we've got a lot of methods in which uh, the method of substitution is one. So we've got a problem here which says solve the following systems of equations by using the method of substitution. So we've got one system of equation here that is 3x minus 5y equals minus 1 and x minus y equals minus 1. So what is it that we have to do when they say solve it by the method of substitution? Well, what we exactly have to do is pick one equation. I'd pick a simpler one. Say I pick this one and then x minus y equals minus 1, right? So what I'll do is I'll either make x or y the subject of the equation, say x equals y minus 1. I'll push minus y to the right hand side, becomes plus y. And then we've got x is y minus 1. So we've got x is y minus 1. Now the value of x is y minus 1. Now let this be equation 1 and let this be equation 2. Now substitute the value of x in equation 1. That is, write the equation 1 three times. In the place of x, write y minus 1 because, you know, we made x the subject. Now we are substituting y minus 1 in the place of x. This is the method of substitution. So 3 times y minus 1 minus 5y equals minus 1. So what exactly are we doing by doing this is, we are making this equation a linear equation in one variable. We are taking out one variable and we are making it only one variable. That is, it is no more a linear equation in two variables, right? You cannot solve a linear equation in two variables. So by doing this, we cut down another variable by which now we can find the value of y. Once we find the value of y, again we can substitute the value in one of these equations and find the value of x. So now let us solve the problem. So 3 times y minus y is 3y minus 3 minus 5y equals minus 1. 3y minus 5y is minus 2y equals minus 1 plus 3. The minus 3 goes to the right hand side. So it becomes y equals minus 1 plus 3 is 2 divided by minus 2 which gives you minus 1. So therefore y equals minus 1. All right. So now substitute y equals minus 1 in either equation 1 or equation 2. I'd rather substitute an equation 2 because it's a simple equation. So now, substituting the value of y in equation 2, I get x minus, let me first write the equation, x minus y equals minus 1. So, x minus of minus 1 because the value of y is minus 1 equals minus 1. So x plus 1 equals minus 1 or x equals minus 1 minus 1. The plus 1 goes to the right hand side, it becomes minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So therefore the value of x is minus 2. So therefore the value of x and y in these equations after solving them by the method of substitution is minus 2 and minus 1 respectively. So that is how this is. It's a pretty simple method and that's all there is to solve. So let us uh, quickly solve another set of equations. We've got x plus 2y equals minus 1 and 2x minus 3y equals 12. So now again, let us consider this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. The simple one is the equation 1. So let me write x plus 2y equals minus 1, x equals minus 1 minus 2y. So I will substitute the value of x in equation 2. You cannot go back and substitute it in equation 1 because then you will get minus 2y and minus 2y. Get. So you, you need to substitute this in the other equation. So 2x minus 3y equals 12. So in the place of x, you write minus 1 minus 2y. So 2 times minus 1 minus 2y minus 3y equals 12. So 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. 2 into minus 2y is minus 4y minus 3y equals 12. So minus 2 minus 7y equals 12 or 7y equals minus 2 minus 12. So y equals minus 14 divided by 7 which is equal to minus 2. So therefore, the value of y is found to be 
minus 2. Now substitute the value of y in any one of the equations. I'll substitute it in the equation 1. So substituting the value of y in equation 1, we get x plus 2. Let me first write the equation. x plus 2y equals minus 1. x plus 2 times minus 2 equals minus 1. So x minus 4 equals minus 1. So x equals minus 1 plus 4. So x equals minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3. So x equals 3. So therefore, x equals 3 and y equals minus 2. So now, in solving these two equations, we get the values of x and y as 3 and minus 2 respectively. So this ends these problems as well as this video. So this is the method of substitution. This is the uh, solving simultaneous linear equation by the method of substitution. And it's a pretty simple one. So that's this. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such methods to solve simultaneous linear equation. Thank you.